I think a lot will change in the next decades. The earth will warm up and as a cause of this there will be many consequences um, for the animal world, the plant world as well as for the mankind. We will be climate neutral in Germany but not in the whole world. We will be safe energy in the sectors um, heat and transport and eliminating the losses um, of the conventional power plants by replacing them with renewable energy plants and as a cause of this the energy prices will get cheaper because renewable energies are for free. Currently the future is understood as the management of external crisis in order to achieve the comfortable status quo as soon as possible. The fact that these very crises have their origin in our thinking patterns and the resulting behavior is mostly neglected. Therefore, I advocate for um, seeing the future as a proactive opportunity in order to do things better or sustainable rather than merely reacting to threats or crises. I personally think that the world is always developing in a spiral rising way. Um, like despite the problems and temporary recessions, it is still stepping forward. And among them, the motivating thing is the science is developing continuously and so that the human being always get to know more about themselves, about the nature more than yesterday. So regarding this, I remain optimistic about the future, which in my eyes should be cleaner, more harmonic and more balanced. I'm a pretty optimistic person, so I would say the future looks quite good. I can speak very well for others, but I think there's quite a bit of anxiety about climate change. But fear is not a solution, we can do this. I think the main um, technologies we are using in the future will be photovoltaic systems and wind turbines. I think there will be an intelligent electric grid to use electric car batteries as a storage to cushion short-term bottleneck situations. We will also use heat pumps. We will use them in houses which are more insulated than today. Well, I think some sections are pretty obvious. Transportation, for example, will be fully electric in the next few years. The electricity generation will be largely based on solar power, but I think many new technologies like nuclear fusion are helpful and will be invented in the near future. What's important to say is that all technologies to prevent climate change are already invented. So we have just to get started. In the first step, a demand-oriented supply must be designed in such a way that our professional but also private lives are orientated towards the supply of renewable energies. Due to the fundamentally decentralized and thus democracy promoting energy production, local actors must be involved. So that the agricultural transport heat and the basically energy transition can succeed. In my opinion, this activation of the broad population with regards to the energy transition is the central challenge of our times. I regard this as a challenge that we have to conquer in the future, since it is hard for me to imagine a future when the energy consumption still remains alone from next generations. And to achieve this, integrating renewable energies plays an important role. Solutions such as based on power electronics technology and needs to be found. On the other hand, it means reconstruction of current hardware, operation rules, handling systems, which requires determination from politicians. The transition takes pen, of course, but we see that if we do not take the pen actively, we will have to pay the pen passively and much more. I am now witnessing the hottest summer ever since I came to Europe and the climate is, cha is changing now much faster as we, as we thought. It is a race between us and the climate and we have to win. <laughs>